The Rush Bimo Institute for Health Equity is an entity that was designed to convene and convey the elements of health equity that are built into the Rush System for Health and Rush University. We interact with the community, but the community also interacts with us. So we are inviting community leaders, people who are working and living and worshiping in our communities to educate us in terms of what is needed. So it is a bi-directional interaction. Westside United is a collaborative of healthcare systems, community members, community organizations, business leaders, residents that have rallied together to say they're going to bring their assets to the table to collectively address the life expectancy gap. So growing up in East Garfield Park, there's a lot of things that we found joy and pain in, but all the while being resilient. So grew up in a food desert. Our grocery store was the local food and liquor store where you had to you know, decide between which head of lettuce or cabbage was better out of two bad choices. Also just thinking about my grandmother who was in church four days a week and ultimately passed due to uh, stage four ovarian cancer two weeks after she was diagnosed. So I always thought about how different her life would have been if she had a community health worker that came to the church that was connected to a hospital or federally qualified health center. And so in thinking about Westside United and the comprehensive approach and addressing the life expectancy gap, you see all of that. The work of Westside United over the past year has been nothing short of miraculous and truly has saved countless lives. We can say proudly that our recent success in equitable vaccine distribution is directly drawn from the lessons we learned and applied from Westside United and their guidance and partnership with the Racial Equity Rapid Response Team. It's an example of everyone bringing their best into a situation to really aggressively address what we're up against, which is the clock. Our big, hairy, audacious goal is decreasing the life expectancy gap by 50% by 2030. And if we're gonna do that, we really need all hands on deck. And so that's been the approach, starting with healthcare, bringing in community and making sure we value the input and voice of community just as much as we do as healthcare experts, executives, and that's been a beautiful thing. All boats rise with the tide, and we need to make sure that we are giving everyone an opportunity to have a high quality of life and a high duration of life. And those are the elements that, uh, that we're focused on, not only as healthcare providers, but as human beings.